All right, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy Ethos here, back at again with a new agent tutorial. This is the new agent gecko. I'm gonna be going over his abilities, what they do, how to use them, and what situations you use them, and how to find the most value and impact out of his kit. Hey, what's going on, guys? Ethos here. Just wanted to say all these clips are taken from my stream. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash ethos. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, and join my Discord server down below. Enjoy the video. Now, Gecko is not only extremely fun, but also extremely strong. But it also does rely on you being able to play him at the right times in the right way. I wouldn't say he's like so far as like overpowered that you can just play him however you want super flexibly. I will say that given the right premises where you play him in certain situations, he can be very, very powerful. And I think that he will be very, very meta. I've also spent quite a few games playing with them, spent some time on the offline, learning more about him. And I feel like I have a really good grasp on the agent now so without further ado let's hop right into it all right so first let's do a quick little talk about the different abilities all right so in mosh's pit you equip mosh fire to throw mosh like a grenade alt fire to throw underhand so right click to throw underhand upon landing mosh duplicates uh, across a large area then after a short delay explodes now this is gonna be really strong all right and it's not just like it immediately just starts doing damage it's like this and basically if you don't get out in time this would do 150 damage right like towards the center and it would just absolutely murk your enemies now you see this like green outer ring is there anywhere standing on this like darker green outer ring right there then it only does 75 but anywhere in that vibrant green area in the middle they will take 150 damage if they even if they end up just like stepping into it as it's popping right it won't do any damage before it pops but if they happen to be in there when it pops it does crazy damage okay and just will get you killed next we have wingman which is Equip wingman to fire, send wingman forward to key enemies. Wingman unleashes a concussive blast towards the first enemy he sees all fire when targeting a spike site or planted spike. To have wingman defuse or plant the spike to plant, Gecko must have the spike in his inventory. When wingman expires, he reverts into a dormant globule. Interact to reclaim the globule and gain another wingman charge after a short cooldown. So it's just like, just like it says, you know, him, left click, I'll bounce off stuff just like a Roomba. And once he sees anyone in right his there. like. 90 degree line of sight he'll lock onto them run at them and stun them if they can't kill him he also has 100 hp he can also reclaim them like this so you can have multiple wingmans throughout the round and use them multiple times throughout the round which is very very cool those are the things that you can buy his total kit goes, comes out to 550 so overall a pretty cheap kit especially considering that you can pick up and reuse these abilities so you can play the run out in segments where you can actually use them in phases playing the spike well let me search teams and show you guys what that looks like as you hold the wingman out you can literally see the spike so you can tell the wingman exactly where you want to plant i guess you want to plan for cat you want to plan it here, you want to plan it from gen, default, you want to plan it dice, uh, you want to plan it for hell. It's just like that. You just got to aim at the ground where it is. So the important thing is you have to be able to see it, have a line of sight on it. But what's cool about it is that like it'll it'll figure out a way to get there. Wingman's going to plant spike. Oh, well, I guess that's it. I'm going to swap team now. Spike planted. Okay. Now you Wing can also, same win. thing, you can defuse. You just have to have Wing line of sight on it and he'll find it. It'll go on. Again, has 100 HP. And basically, while you use this, you can have your gun out. Oh, Good ability, we have the Dizzy. This is your signature. Equip Dizzy, fire to send Dizzy soaring forward through the air. Dizzy charges, then unleashes plasma blasts at enemies in line of sight. I like to call them goops. Enemies hit by her plasma are blinded when Dizzy expires. She reverts into a dormant globule, just like the wingman. Interact to reclaim the globule and gain another Dizzy charge after a short cooldown, which is 10 seconds. It's like it says, this is what it looks like. It goes, it'll shoot right at enemies, go pow, pow, pow. Give some Santa. examples on the screen, and you can pick it up just like that. And finally, we have the Thrash. It's kind of like a Sky Dog equipped Thrash Fire to link with Thrash's mind to steer it through enemy territory. Activate to lunge forward and explode, detaining any area enemies in a small radius. When Thrash expires, she reverts into a dormant globule. Interact to reclaim the globule and gain another Thrash charge after a short cooldown. Thrash can be claimed once, only once, but still, that means you get to have two ults in one round potentially, which is very, very insane. What's really cool about this ult, though, this is what it looks like. It's really fast. You can jump in it, and when you see someone, there's go and pop and makes a little explosion and will detain anyone in that explosion you can come pick it up again Another. also thrash has 200 hp as well so it's quite beefy to try and kill anyways let's go into how we actually play these rounds out you can use thrash as a brawl agent and also as an info agent as well so he will work really well towards the mains to get info on extremities on 
Uh, defense, he's also great for rotating as well. He's more right of the there. rotator, but he probably starts from extremity. So for example, here, right, if they're just rushing B right away, you could molly it if you wanted to and slow him down. Or you could actually flash into the window, which is very strong. It'll blind everyone right in here and also draw right all the crossers to try and shoot it. Uh, the flash, by the way, the dizzy is one, oh, like, is like one shot with like as any gun, pretty much, I believe. You might have like 20 HP, but it's pretty much one shot with like any gun. So defending against it, you want to just not, you know, instinctively turn it. You should shoot it and just drop it. But yeah, so you can throw this. You can actually brawl if you want, and you can slow them down with mollies, and you can also do stun as well if they're pushing. Run, little man. And you can stun all of them. So there's a lot of things you can do. Back to me. If they aren't like showing any sort of like presence here, you could throw like him, a wingman here to try and get some info like this. Basically, see if there's Santa, anyone Santa, like right there. here. If there is anyone like around this area up to about here, Wingman will lock on and chase him down. On defense, Gecko really excels as a flood agent. Playing behind smokes and throwing flashes as teams are exacting is going to be his forte. Just kind of like random flashes, right? So you can throw flashes like this to try right and fight him, but you don't always have to do that. You can do lots of things. Like if you're rotating in from market, you can also throw high flashes if you want as well. We'll get like lane right and here and everything. Also, as well right as logs, which is really overpowered. And not only you, is he very good as a blind, it also gives you info. You can see where your dizzy is shooting. So if you see it shoot straight down, you know right there's there. gonna be a guy logs. If you see it right shoot there. towards lane, you know there's a guy lane. If it shoots right, right here, there. then you know there's a guy close up. So he's also great for info. He's great for flashing, fighting, and also great for info as well. Also, what's really strong with him as well is pairing with like Fade, for example. If they're like it's taking out, right there. out towards B, you can tether so Molly this, you, and this radius is so big. It encompasses the entire fade tether so that if they get hit by the tether and the center of the molly is around the center of the tether, then there's no way they can go and they just you're guaranteed to kill them. The great thing about Gecko is that you can use his abilities in waves. You don't have to be very conservative with it. If there's no info towards B main early, again you can use your wingman and just pop him. Get him, wingman! And you can also throw a flash as well. And just and take all this control and just smoke right this there. if you need. And you just boom, There's you have B main control. You gotcha, can grab gotcha. orb, you can reclaim your abilities here, have your teammate with you, and then you can leave them in there or you just get out. And now the enemies are forced to be clear that because you just denied them all that info and map control and they don't know if there's two in there, one in there, nobody in there. They have to get that info back. So either by using bodies to contact up, which they probably won't, they probably actually use utility to do that, which is great because they're expending util and you expended nothing because you got all your utility back. Moving on, if you don't want to use your mollies to stall, if you still have your molly, they're great for zoning. You could toss like big mollies like this because of its insane range and it'll push people out of this corner and they'll have to come out to here where they can be exposed. Right they can't just talk and you have to come really close in to clear them. You also have lineup that basically forces them to peek out like this with their dice. You could throw one like sight potentially like this. It'll push him to peek right into one area. He's gonna be very strong on retakes as well. If you have that molly, of course, the flashes as well. It'll be great for retakes. This flash will basically clear anyone right here. Obviously, right anyone there. peeking back sight as well as a guy here. Uh, and it'll basically tell you exactly where people are playing. If it doesn't ping, you know that there's right no one there. here. No, uh, no one peeking right these. There. No one here. Right there. And no one here, right there. which is already so much info on the retake. What's great with Gecko is like a lot of these like high flashes, they kind of go above them and it'll kind of like just like AC 130, like right just there. down onto them and they won't even be able to like see it. They'll have to like look all the way up here, which is one super unrealistic for them to do in the first place because they're going to be so focused on holding angles that they run in. Uh, you can run in and you can just kill all of them as they're blind so that's gonna be really his forte you can do something more cheeky like this potentially get him to the hole if he runs in and clears but that's that's kind of just more goofy than anything great flash as well something through this goes to the tarp just like a ko flash does and goes through and we'll just right there yeah this guy this right guy there. this guy and it will also be somewhere very difficult for them to react to because it comes to this tarp here so different ways you can use the alt obviously right you can use the alt right just like you would a sky dog cloud some info have, have your teammate come with this thing right what's really underrated with the ult is that you can be hop in this thing so you can do this and make it really difficult to kill like remember he has 200 hp and he can like he goes real fast right so for example here, there's a guy in a man 
jump the corner, and then you just boom. There's just no way they're hitting it for 200 HP in that time unless there's like three people trying to gun it down. And as well as that, you have a teammate swinging with it as well. Boom. Like you used to reclear. Let's say there's no one in there, right? And you go all the right way, there. get all the info. Boom. You can just go back and take your take your charge back. You don't need to actually go and like, oh, I wasted my own. You can go get your charge back. You can use to retake map control. It's not always necessarily used for kills. But you can actually retake map control with it as well if you would like. Another good thing that you can do with the alt as well, which I think that people will not be conscious or aware of, is you can actually hold down execs with it. So let's say they're execing A, right? And you know that they're executing A. So you do this alt. Come here, and then you just press S right here. And basically, they are going to be so afraid to come out. And then the second that they do try to come out, you just detain them. But basically, they know that you're ulting. They hear right him there. here, right? So basically, even even right as there. the other utils going, right their mollies, their flashes, right? They're going to have to wait out your ult right, right here. Because they know that if they do peek this, they're just going to get detained immediately. And they're going to be out of the round. They're going to be out in the open. Like, it's going to suck a lot. So obviously, the people right who will come out are going to get ulted. But also, the people like inside the smoke behind them will probably get ulted as well. So it's going to be a really like, annoying thing to do. And there's nothing you can do, you can do about it. They can't. There's no way they can swing this and hit this for 200 hp at this distance without you being able to react and just left clicking like there's no way there's nothing they can do about it really so that's another way you can play with the ult that is just like holding down execs delaying for your teammates to come in and like you know forcing the inevitable they either like just wait out the entire thing or just choose to get detained so again to chalk it all up he's great for fighting extremities he's gonna be a rotator he's great for flooding and he's also very good for retaking and in exactly those ways pairing him with other agents as well probably want to like have like teammates with you just like you would like a jet and a ko would be bunched up or whatnot you want to keep him with a buddy so that you guys can both capitalize on his detail double swing with this right let's say you hear the tap orb tether molly that or even just molly it and then throw that eye up and boom you know that all these guys are gonna be have to be moving this uh the right one way is up here so like there's nothing that they can do so just like how a ko would throw a ko molly and then flash it's the same exact idea so i think you got to think of him kind of like a like reina neon play style right where it's like instead of like just fighting to hold this you let them have that control right you get let them get right into a main first and then you can fight instead of just like i'm gonna hold this and like just try to like fight them but like no you let them in right first there. you can grab the let them tap the orb whatever same idea here right you can put them over here and then the second that they do you throw a high flash here like that and then that'll like scan everybody as long as that's line of sight it's gonna be very difficult for them to shoot so you're almost guaranteed to get some shots off and boom you just swing with your teammates now moving on to offense different ways you can play offense again we're going to be talking about in segments so first phase of utility for example right say you want to take like a main control right you just throw a flash here if you want basically ensuring that anyone trying to like go out right wide or swing out wide here they're going to get spotted by it. even someone potentially right here is going to get spotted by it. basically you know that there's not going to be anyone out a main you did good and you're and you can help grab a main control they, they're probably right going there. to reactively smoke this or not you could smoke it basically just like play like make sure that they're not retaking map control on you you can grab your orb with that right retake take your dizzy with that as well and then carry on with the round once you have your flash right again in the first segment right you take there. the main control second segment you come up here and you can throw a flash like this that goes right over we think this will obviously blind right this, this this right this this right this this and this and not only will it blind them but again it will also tell you exactly where they are and where it doesn't ping you know that's that's where they aren't right so it's going to be really great for execs as well as long as your teammates are aware paying attention to where dizzy's hitting as well as this on offense right for execs the molly is going to be your best friend on the actual exec itself instead of using a molly for the like post plans like oh okay i'm gonna play my mollies when they tap the bomb i would not recommend doing that instead i would recommend using it for actually when your teammates are trying to hit the side so for example if you're on molly door you throw that one if you're on molly heaven so this one and if you're only one molly back dice you throw this one so as you can see this pops for door that pops for heaven and this one pops for dice and as well as hell basically forcing them out of their positions and not letting them be able to play safely wherever they want and when your teammates are entering obviously already threw the flash over as well you are basically right making sure like okay you don't have to worry about you know the dice right guy a guy being dice or right, right side hell you don't have to worry about a guy right floating there. out heaven or you don't have to worry about a guy scrimming through door smoke like there's a lot of like you're basically simplifying your teammates jobs as they're executing the site so they don't have to worry about three different things you can also do things right like for example if they like 
smoke right top mid or they smoke tiles and you feel like they might be here you throw high flash here again it has super far range 45 right meters right so it could scan these guys here if they're out cat if they're out sabrosa if they're close tiles close right fridge with their bottom mid right you can use it to do that basically like push him out of right mid make sure that the defenders aren't there you can come back you can also throw these same kind of mollies here and help your teammates this one would be like a door molly and this one would be like a heaven and like bad gen molly and same thing you can also right throw there. from these spots as well same thing if you want to segment it into for example if you want to take your main control take it methodically you can do things like off barrier throw your wingman like this or bounce in clear this right corner there. and then he'll actually turn around the last second and actually be able to spot right anyone there. here so if there is actually anyone here they will get spotted by him and he'll actually right extend his run and try to stun them because once oh, he sees someone buddy. he's actually going to try to chase him down past his timer and try to stun them along with that you can throw this him, also throw a flash as well with it and really ensure that you take beam in control but usually i would have like an omen right just like flash this really push them out so you can grab right orb control this is like for xx where you're like relying on like a grabbing ult and then k ulting or like just throwing a right kj ult down that's like the kind of methodical like b take where you like first take b main then you like reset and then you go back in in which case if you do that right so you do like wingman you get beam in control first you go wingman throw your flash you get beam in control and then you can grab your things here grab your flash here then kill your ult's right going there. down, blah, blah, blah. 10 seconds go by. Then you have your flash again. The actual exec, throw it to the window. And this will actually get right lane, spawn, right market, stairs. It'll actually help your teammates get out as well. You can use your flash in two parts, just in one quick exec as well. If you want to do something like really, really fast here, like for example, right like your jet's going to dash over a boat or it's just like it's a standard B-Rush. It's not relying on a KO ult or a Killjoy ult. Right I'm there. sure taking B-Main control first. It would probably just be like right a there. fast own blind here. And then right these there. double smokes here, they would be going over. You can throw you to like this. So you could throw like Saw you, this molly here, then a flash up like this. Go to the window. And you'll see what this molly does. Basically, it covers all of logs, so they don't have to worry about logs at all. Also, it'll discourage anyone from trying to scrim through this market smoke and try to fight your teammates as they're going out quick. So basically, again, it's all about simplifying the whole take for your teammates. The flash will obviously right ping anyone lane and anyone right boat. Right stairs there. and all this help give them some space, give them some info, as well as you are making sure that they don't have to worry at all about right any there. logs guys them to come out and clear it and they right have to there. worry about anyone actually just like psychoing through this smoke here and in the same way if you don't want to do the logs molly if you already have someone else taking care of that right you can throw with a back step throw like that basically molly this making it so that like they can't peek into you they can't run into the spawn smoke here they can't run out of the spawn smoke they can't run into this basically you're trying to discourage floods you don't you're trying to discourage people from trying to flash through like run through the smoke on timing and like your teammates don't have to worry about like watching those smokes as they're coming out and you can help make some space for your teammates so ultimately what gecko comes down to on t side as well as defense similar idea is like you can use him to rush but he also like excels at defaulting and like first you right take main control with the wingman and the and the flash you pick up both you can go back you can go back right mid there. and go pressure mid or you can just exit right straight there. b from that or same thing you take a main control first right there uh, with the flash as i showed you and you have the option of going back grabbing orb right there. going back mid right later there. and pressuring and leaving one aim in potentially or just executing right sight from there after you to recharge what's really great about him is that his recharge time is really low compared to like a sova dart where a sova dart would have to you first dart they have to wait four seconds to use the second dart for the actual hit itself his util is actually really quick and might be able to replace the need for a sova dart in some cases so that you can actually just use the dart on the second segment where you actually go out sight or you go pressure towards mid for example hey, little man, i actually i actually up, really it. like playing gecko like honestly and like i like i think he's really good too i think he's really good like i'm honestly probably gonna like spam him in rank like he's actually so much fun bro well that about does it for my in-depth gecko guide i tried making this a little bit quicker a little bit more concise but also have all the most important pieces the most important facts about gecko and how to play him well because i don't want you guys to just start spamming his util at random moments just taking balls it's like randomly like oh okay like i'm in a main i'm just gonna start like throwing all my stuff and i'm just like just pushing like I, I don't want you guys to start doing that you know i want you guys to actually like play him correctly find the most impact out of his util and find the most impact uh for your team with his util so just you know take some of the things i say and maybe like focus on like when you want to use the util and like 
how to react to different situations with him but he's a very flexible agent in that he has a lot of different set things he can do given any situation but he's not so flexible that you can just do whatever you want and it's just gonna end up working out because for example like if we just throw a flash like this it's like in here right they're just gonna shoot it and you're just gonna get one tapped so like comboing it together you have a teammate here maybe an omen blinding from tree you molly and they tap orb and then you pop this right as they're moving and then you swing with it like combo together with your teammates play well and like there's no one there you can like do this kind of stuff to get info but other than that like you know don't don't just grief your teammates and just don't grief your utils don't throw your stuff in random spots so you can't reclaim them because you'll get a lot more impact out of having multiple uses with him and using him in very controlled environments anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think about these kind of tutorials i know i do them every time an agent comes out but i do like imparting some of my knowledge to you guys so let me know what you guys think about gecko about the tutorial about me my hair whatever down in the comments down below and thank you guys again so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later hopefully in my stream twitch.tv the bell